Hello Russian learners, Oksana here. Welcome to my channel. Today, as usual, we are continuing with our Russian studies and this video is going to be dedicated to Russian verbs and in particular one Russian verb, which is a very commonly used in everyday Russian speech and it will help you to broaden some of, uh, to broaden your Russian vocabulary. Today we'll talk about this verb, uh, what that verb means. Uh, this verb is the, the one you can see on your screen, which is iti. Uh, it uh, is translated into English as to go. So uh, this verb uh, means actually to go somewhere, to go buy food in particular. Uh, and uh, it has a very special meaning to it. It's not like um, a broad sense to go as it is in uh, English. But uh, it, uh, there's a lot of uh, verbs in Russian. Um, not a lot of, but there are the verbs in Russian that represent this meaning to go. And iti in particular means some, means to go somewhere by foot and uh, to go like right now um, in the moment. So like the, um, uh, it is like um, a concrete uh, process of doing something, of going somewhere in, in any particular time. So like right now, uh, today or um, tomorrow, but um, something like that. And I'll explain you when we come to the um, some examples. But for now, of course, uh, as with any uh, Russian verbs, we have to learn the right conjugation. And um, for now, we are just taking the um, uh, we're talking about the present tense only conjugation of this verb because. Uh, of course, like uh, with any other uh, foreign languages, when you are starting to learn it, you always start with the present tense, and then when you get the hang of it, you move on to the uh, past and future tenses. But for now, we're only talking about the um, uh, present tense conjugation, and as you know, uh, the conjugations, the conjugation of the Russian verb follows three person, the first person, second person, and the third person. And the first person can be both of these um, uh, types of conjugation can be in either singular and also in plural form. And for ease of remembrance, I suggest you use not uh, this like notion of first, second, and third um, person, but you uh, suggest you I suggest you substitute it with the uh, pronouns. So basically, uh, the first uh, person uh, means ya, and let us write it uh, like this: ya, and in plural it will be мы. Um, the second person will be ты, which is uh, 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 one person in an informal speech. And the plural will be вы, which is um, either uh, addressing a, a group of people or a one person uh, in a polite way. And th the third person will be uh, in singular он, она or оно. And in the plural it will be uh, они. So now, now let us see the way uh, the uh, verb ed uh, changes according to uh, these different um, pronouns which is uh, which it used with, and uh, let us also write them down and remember. So to say I go, you will have to conjugate the verb accordingly, and uh, in the first person it singular it will be ya idu, ya idu, ya idu. It is the first person singular, and uh, the first person plural will be we go, мы идем, идем, мы идем, я иду, мы идем. The second person singular will be ты идешь, 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 ты идешь, and the plural um, version will be вы. Идете. Ты идешь, вы идете. The second person's conjugation. Ты идешь, вы идете. And uh, the third pl uh, person conjugation in the singular will be он, она, оно идет, идет. And uh, the uh, plural, uh, the, uh, the third person uh, conjugation in the plural will be они и so that is the way the uh, verb идти is conjugated in the present tense. Я иду, мы идем, ты идешь, вы идете, он, она, оно идет, 
and они идут. So that is um, uh, the thing that you have to remember, of course. Uh, it is a very, very popular verb in the Russian language. It is used all the time. So uh, naturally, you have to know its versions according to the uh, three-person uh, conjugation. So, uh, we, of course, it is only in the plural tense, uh, in the pr uh, present tense, and uh, the um, verb changes also in the um, past and future tense, but it is not the theme of today. It will be talked about further in my lessons. And for now, uh, for uh, better like understanding of this verb, of the way, uh, in what context it, it is used, let us talk about some useful phrases with this verb, which will be very good for you to remember, to know at this stage. And um, you will also um, be able to make uh, some uh, simple sentences in Russian. So the first um, way, uh, this um, um, the first phrase that can be built with this um, verb is this one, which is, I'm talking about the inf infinitive um, form, which is itti v školu. There is something like all of the kids uh, do, and some of you also, and it means uh, to go to school. And uh, it means actually right now. Uh, like um, it's not like uh, to go like every day. It, this phrase, uh, this verb doesn't is not used when uh, you are talking about uh, like a repeated action. It is just a one-time action. Like right now, I'm going to school. For example, let us write this example. Сейчас я иду в школу. Сейчас meaning is means right now. Я I иду в школу. I'm going to school. So in the moment, right now is a, uh, one single action and not a repeated one. So that is how you can use uh, the verb идти. Uh, and of course, you have to, if you are using another pronoun here, like for example, они, they, uh, you will say сейчас они идут в школу. So that is how it changes according to the a person, uh, according to conjugation. Another very popular phrase that can be said uh, with this verb is идет дождь. Or идет Снег. Снег. So that means идет дождь means it's raining, and идет снег means it's snowing. So of course that means right now, uh, right this moment. So that is uh, another uh, phrase that you uh, can use uh, the verb идти. And of course you can add this word, word сейчас. Uh, сейчас идет дождь. Uh, right now it's raining. Or сейчас идет снег. Right now it's snowing. So that is a set expression that uh, will be very good for you to know, to remember. You will see and hear it a lot in Russian uh, speech and Russian texts. Uh, and now, like, let me tell you, give you another uh, example. Идти на работу, на работу. Again, it means in the moment, right now, it means uh, to go to work. Uh, you can say, like, uh, right now I'm going to work. Сейчас. Сейчас. Я иду на работу. Right now I'm going to work. Сейчас я иду на работу. Or you can say, uh, мы идем, we go, we are going to work. Сейчас мы, иди, мы идем на работу. So that is how you can build the sentence using other uh, conjugation of this verb идти with other pronouns or uh, any other nouns. Uh, so that is the another example for you. And um, 
these phrases are very useful and of course they are not the only examples of how the verb ity can be used in Russian um, conversation and there are very many 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 more of them and uh, for now I highly suggest you to just learn the uh, conjugation of this verb ity to go and these phrases they will be a very uh, of a great help for you to broad your build up your vocabulary and to build like some short simple sentences and of course you can go uh, not only to work or to school there are different other places that you can go that you can um, tell about using the verb it i just gave you like the most typical examples here like where are we typically going to school or to to work like we are going there every day so that is like very important to know them and of course when we are going further with our studies we will uh, learn more and more of uh, other uh, ways of using this verb it uh, and we just have to start somewhere start somewhere easy so that is like the easiest examples for you so do learn them and of course uh, further on we'll learn more more verbs and more uh, expressions with this one in particular so i hope this video was uh, useful and informative for you and if you liked it please give you a thumbs up i will be very appreciative of that and uh, if you have any questions also uh, write them down in the commentary section under the video and um and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, because I have a lot of uh, Russian uh, sent uh, Russian uh, lessons in store, and they come out every day. So uh, if you subscribe, you will not miss out on any other new videos. And of course, I will be very, very glad to see you back on my channel. So uh, that's it for today. Th thank you for watching. Give enough time to your studies. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Goodbye.